this is it. This is it. This is the uh, best kept secret in uh, <laughs> the state of Maine. It's a secret, though, the locals in Liberty are anxious to keep spreading. This collection of hundreds of pristine antique tools dating as far back as the 1700s. For me, it's just such an accurate representation of, you know, the tool history of New England and Maine specifically, um, and just the history of blacksmithing and woodworking in general. Amazing what one person has created. That one person, Skip Brack who today lives in Hall's Cove, but more than five decades ago opened across the street the Liberty Tool Company, which still thrives. His expertise is well documented in the many books he's written, but it's Brack's passion for acquiring antique hand tools that brought about this museum's display. As he was going through picking tools, he would come across tools that just were almost too valuable historically to put into um, the tool company. And so uh, at one point, he decided to create the Davistown Museum. And what do you call this? This is a slick, so for timber framing, turning up tenons and um, mortises and things like that. Over the centuries, these rare handmade tools, most of them made in Maine or New England, have somehow survived. It's all hand forged. You can yeah. see the forge lines in it and, you know, handmade wing nuts and such, so. Their durability, they say, a tribute to the craftsmanship and the blacksmiths who made them. Made them exactly for what sort of job, though, is often left to the imagination. At some point, somebody walked into somebody's shop and asked for a tool for a very strangely specific job, and it got made, and then it was lost to history when they passed away, I suppose. So now we just get to ogle at it and wonder what it did. Wonder in the same way Skip Brack did when he founded this museum half a century ago. Sure, a bit off the beaten path, but the chance for visitors to actually handle some of the very tools that literally help build this town, this state. Being able to pick something up that has a history and um, has been functional and, and um, allows us to go back in time and, and, and be mindful of, you know,